Thank you. Many college students will be going home for Thanksgiving. As students return to Rhode Island, a local emergency physician tells 12 News that could be a problem, bringing the potential of more positive cases at a time where the state is already reporting record high numbers. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni has more from that doctor and what local universities are doing to help prevent the spread of COVID-19 across state lines. Head of the ER Doctors Association in the state explained many college students are asymptomatic and have a high rate of infection, which is a troublesome piece of information as young adults start traveling across the country for Thanksgiving. That's a huge concern. Dr. Otis Warren is Rhode Island's president of the American College of Emergency Physicians. He anticipates students traveling home for Thanksgiving will increase the already rising curve of COVID-19 cases. Quarantining is something that is very easy to say and it's very hard to do and it's something that I anticipate is going to be uh, really increase the rates of infection we see both locally and across the country what after the Thanksgiving holiday. Neighboring states like Connecticut are imposing restrictions on college students traveling for the holidays, including requiring they quarantine before and after coming home, asking to avoid homecoming reunions, and get tested before leaving school. Governor Gina Raimondo previously said she is working with nearby states on a regional approach to COVID-19 guidelines. She is expected to announce additional restrictions for Thanksgiving, though what they will be is still unclear. Dr. James McDonald with the DOH explained it's what students do once they are home that is the most important. Like you don't want to get together with all your friends you left from high school. That should be something where you're like, I got to be careful just to keep my bubble small at this point. Because the pandemic isn't the same pandemic you left when you went to college. The pandemic got much worse. Now, the University of Rhode Island tells me they are strongly encouraging their students get tested before the holiday break, as is Providence College, but they are also asking students to provide a negative test when they return to campus. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.